All right. Mind if I play through? <laughs> hey, you're going on a picnic, huh? Boy, that sounds like fun. See you later. Have a good time. Hey, hold it right there, Jocko. Ow. Where do you think you're going? Fishing. <laughs> I mean, you promised to take us on a picnic today, remember? Saturday? Joni, today is the big club championship. I couldn't have planned a picnic. What do you think I am, stupid? You're the one who fishes with the golf club. Joni, this tournament only happens once a year. The guys are counting on me. It's very important. Please. Please. <laughs> Please. I promise. The next thing the family wants to do together, I'll do it. No matter what it is. I promise. Please. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. This is the man I'm supposed to model my life after? Please, please, please. <laughs> Hi. So what do you think, honey? Yeah. Uh, you think the trophy will be noticed up here or... Hey, maybe I should put it over the mantle in the living room, huh? Why don't you just hang it on the front door as an ocker? <laughs> Hi! Please, please, no applause. I knew I'd be discovered sooner or later. I guess it's sooner. Good, see you later. <laughs> Got this letter this morning from the TV show Beat Thy Neighbor. They want my family to try out for the show. Hey, I was watching that this morning. That's that funny show where the neighbors compete against each other in crazy contests. Yeah, to see which families can make the biggest fools of themselves. <laughs> right, my family's perfect for it. <laughs> Here's the mail. Just one letter for you, Jocko. <laughs> What'd you get chosen for the show, Harriet? Oh, it's simple. At the end of each program, they tell you where to send a postcard if you want to be a contestant. So I sent one in and they chose us. I bet it'll be fun. Fun? You call one family dressing up like ice cream cones and the other family trying to lick them clean fun? <laughs> well, I call it degrading. Family loses all dignity and self-respect. In our case, we've got nothing to lose. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I don't believe this. Well, what is it? It says here we've been invited to try out for Beat Thy Neighbor. All right! All right, who submitted our name? I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I doed it. Vicky, why'd you do it? The man on TV said to send in a postcard, so I did. Well, no way are we going to try out for that show. Dad, you promised. What? What, what did I promise? Please, please, please. I promise, I promise, I promise. The next time the family wants to do something, I'll do it. Oh, that promise. Well, I thought you meant like taking in a ball game, not swimming in chicken fat. Come on, you guys. Only a complete imbecile would go on beat thy neighbor. Hi. I rest my case. <laughs> Looking well for you. Nice trophy. Thank you. Where'd you buy it? <laughs> you probably heard we are going to be big TV stars, but don't worry, sweetheart, Bubby, we'll still keep in touch with the riffraff. Oh, I wish there was time for Calvin to design some really stunning outfits for our interviews. Calvin? Uh, Calvin Klein. We're very close, you know. I was responsible for his huge success in jeans. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, I said to him, I said, Calvin, put the name on the behind, not on the fly. <laughs> However, since the interview's tomorrow, I suppose we'll just have to buy something. Oh, off the rack. We got invited to try out for Beat Thy Neighbor too. I'm not going to subject my family to all that embarrassment and ridicule. The grand prize is $50,000. Still, if it's done tastefully. <laughs> all right, we're gonna be TV stars. Don't worry, sweetheart, booby. We'll still keep in touch with the riffraff. <laughs> Thank you, Shanna. <laughs> now remember, act up. Peppy, bright, lots of personality, just like the host of the show, Guy Dwyer. Brandon, I don't have to act. That's the way I am naturally. Effervescent. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi, Brindles. I'm Guy Dwyer. Hi, Hi Guy. guy. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, gang, but you know what? Somebody stole my brand new car. <laughs> oh, what a shame. But of course it was insured. No. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> you know, I like your sincerity. Uh... Yes, I see you're exactly the kind of people I want on my TV show. You're happy? <laughs> Fun loving? <laughs> want to come on the show to have a good time? <laughs> Not just there to make the money. Money? You give away money? We had no idea. You wouldn't believe the hard luck stories I get from people pretending to be down and out just to come on my show to make a buck. <gasps> That's disgusting. <laughs> well. I've already picked one of the two families to be on the show, and that's, uh, that's the Gumps. And I would really like that other family to be... The Brindle Boys! <laughs> However, I still have to interview one more family from your neighborhood, and that's yeah. the, um, the Lawsons. <laughs> they're a wonderful family! Uh, you can't tell right away, because they're so boring! <laughs> well, in that case, you stay by your phone, because you may get a chance to... Be my neighbor! Feel <laughs> good. Bye, Brindles! Bye, bye! bye. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Looks like it's either us or the Lawsons, Daddy. Well, don't just sit there, hotshot. What are we going to do about Mr. and Mrs. Whitebread and their two little crumbs? Leave it to me. Have you ever known me to be at a loss with something underhanded? Hi, Harriet. Hi, Vicki. We just got back from our interview for the TV show, and it looks like we're going to be on it. When's your interview? At 2 o'clock this afternoon. Well, confidentially, Vicki, I know a way you can get on the show. For sure. How? See, what they're looking for are poor, unfortunate families who are broke and down on their luck. And the sadder the story, the better. Oh, hi, Harriet. Oh, hi, Mr. Lawson. Nice chatting with you, Vicky. Bye. What'd she want? She said they had their interview, and it looks like they're going to be on the TV show. I wonder how those clowns got picked. Well, confidentially, Harriet said they're looking for poor, unfortunate families who are broke and down on their luck. Oh? And the sadder the story, the better. Sadder the better, huh? You know what, Vicky? I got, got an, an idea. Hi, Mr. Dwyer. We're the Lawsons. Oh, hi there. Awesome. Hi, guy. Uh, for, forgive me for staring. Yeah, well, uh, uh, please sit down. Thank you. <laughs> Can I get you something? Coffee? Oh, thank you. What would you like in it? A lamb chop. <laughs> you poor people. When was the last time you ate? April. Oh, Mr. Dwyer, we'd really like to be on your show. Oh, we need the money for the operation. Who needs an operation? You all need an operation? Yes, and the poor children need money for their dental work. I need braces for my teeth. I need teeth. <laughs> Okay, I've heard enough. You are on the show. I'm dumping the Gump family, and I'm putting you on. You are certainly much more deserving. No, wait. Uh, Dad, this is wrong. We can't let them dump the Gumps. <laughs> oh, you're right, honey. Mr. Dwyer, listen, uh, we're just not as bad off as we seem. <laughs> <laughs> what courage. Yeah. What a gutsy family. Yeah. No, no, uh, no, 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 no. I'm not going to take no for an answer. Let me level with you folks. As I told the other families going to be on the show, the Brindles. I usually hate this kind of hard luck story. What? 
You told the Brindles that? What? I'm going to make an exception. This is the saddest story I've ever heard. You, you people are pathetic. I haven't been this moved since our ratings dropped. <laughs> well, in that case, I, uh, I think we'd love to be on your show, Mr. Dwyer, and beat the heck out of the Brindles. Right, Lawson? Right. An eye for an eye. And anything for a tooth. <laughs> Hi out there in TV land. It's time once again to... And welcome to the show that brings neighbors together in kooky competition. And competing today are two fun-filled families just ready to wipe each other out. Hi, Brindles. Hi, Bye. Hi, Lawson's. Hi, guys. Okay, now you all know the rules. We play three games. And the, and the fir first family that wins two games gets the chance to compete for $50,000. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, yes. And let's get ready for the big pie plunge. Come on over, families. Now, buried amongst the berries in these delicious fruit pies are poker chips, each worth $20. And all you have to do is eat your way to the chips. I think I've died and gone to heaven. <laughs> all right. The family to have the most chips after 30 seconds is going to win contest number one. And uh, because the Lawsons outnumber the Brindles, we're going to ask Vicki to be our official face cleaner for both families. You know what to do, Vicki? I know what to do. Oops. I almost forgot. No hands. What? <laughs> All right, families. Get ready. Get set. A go. No hands. Okay. Go for those chips. Either way. Let's keep eating. Come on, Brenda. No more competition. And now, let's see how well the Brindles did. Brindles have five. Nice going. All right. Yeah. And Lawson's, how'd you do? We have five, guy. Five. Six. All right, congratulations to both teams. And now, Vicki, let's clean our families up. <laughs> and now it's time for contest number two. Curtains, please. And once again, uh, since the Lawsons have an extra player, we're going to ask Vicky and Jamie to play as one. Come on out, kids. <laughs> All right, let's begin our game. Now, the object is to take the ball. Thank you, Shana. Take the ball. There we are and pass it to the person next to you. Okay, the person next to you passes it to the person at the end of the line. The person at the end of the line takes the ball and puts it in the basket, and that is simple, right? <laughs> Oops, I forgot. No hands. And one more little thing. Instead of tennis balls, we're going to use these big, squishy tomatoes. <laughs> All right. Everybody set to begin. The family with the most potato the tomatoes in the basket wins this round. Ready? Get set. Go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
there's your buzzer. Family's back. All right. And now, let's check and see how the families did. And it looks like the Brindles have four. Four tomatoes. Good. How'd the losses do, Shannon? Isn't that wonderful? Beauty and brains, too. Well, that means the Brindles win contest number two. And we'll be back with the deciding game right after this commercial message. Okay, everybody, change clothes for game number three, please. All right, thank you, and welcome back to the third and deciding contest on Beat Thy Neighbor. Curtains, please. <laughs> and now it's time to go slopping for silver. <laughs> Stashed in this slime are silver tokens, just like this one. And the family that finds the most tokens is going to be our champion and win a fun-filled vacation to Acapulco! <laughs> All, right. All right, families, into the slime. <laughs> Let the game begin. Get The Brindles have a decision to make. Uh-huh. Do you want to keep your vacation trip to Acapulco? Uh, or give it back for a chance at our $50,000 grand prize? You have 10 seconds to decide. They've decided to the trip to Acapulco? No, the $50,000. Uh -huh. Okay, now. In one of these chickens is a check for $50,000. Uh -huh. All you have to do is decide, is it in chicken number one, chicken number two, or chicken number three? You have 10 seconds. Go ahead. What's your guess? Chicken number three, Brad. Chicken number three? No, chicken number one. Chicken number one. Okay, good luck. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Inside chicken number one is yes, an egg. That's right, Brindles. Inside chicken number three is the check for fifty thousand dollars. Looks like the yolk's on you. <laughs> And Lawson's, I don't want you to be too disappointed because here on Beat Thy Neighbor, if the champions give up their trip, it goes to the other family. <laughs> That's right, Lawson. <laughs> Pack your bag because you're going to.
Since you've been